In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Our Lady of La Salette, Saint Joseph, our patron saints and guardian angels, in the name of the Father, and the Son, and the Holy Spirit, Amen. Today is the feast day of Our Lady of La Salette, one of those very important Marian apparitions that took place in the 19th century. Our Lady appeared to two French shepherds, uh, Melanie and Maxim, I think was, was the boy's name, who were out tending their sheep and they came across this very noble looking lady in a very royal garment dressed like the Basque people uh, in a garment that they would recognize as being the clothing of their people, but wearing a crown. And kneeling, or she's sitting on a, a big stone and crying with her head in her hands, weeping. And they are, uh, they are drawn to this woman who is weeping very sorrowfully. And so they approach her and she they ask her, beautiful lady, why are you weeping? And she said, I am weeping for my people. And there were two things, the main things that our lady told the children that offended offended God, and that was the fact that they were not observing the Sunday rest. They were doing all kinds of unnecessary work on Sunday She's, and, uh, and taking God's name in vain, blasphemy. She also said, there was a third thing, that they weren't observing like the fast times of the church, uh, abstinence. They would, she said they would run like dogs to the meat shops on Friday. And uh, she told them that these things were very offensive to God. And that is why she was weeping for her children because they had become so depraved in so many ways. And you know, this was post French Revolution. So France was socially kind of in, up, in an upheaval because of the French Revolution. And so much decadence was introduced because of that. And so the people's morals had declined and that these sins that we sometimes take very much granted for today, I think, in our world, especially, you know, not observing Sunday as a day of rest, the Lord's Day. We do all kinds of unnecessary work and shopping on Sunday. And blasphemy, which our Lord's name is probably taken more in blasphemy as a swear word than it is in a main, and as a word of calling to mind his beautiful name and praising him, sad to say. So as Our Lady told the children, if they didn't turn away from these sins, if, she, you know, if they didn't go and tell the people to stop doing these things, that God would send famine and, and cause them great suffering if they didn't turn away from their sins. If they were to turn away from their sins, then God could even make, you might say, bread from stones if they would just repent of their sins. Uh, this apparition of Our Lady took place at the same time as God sent to the French people also the Curie of Ars. And there's some controversy about the message of Our Lady of La Salette, or at least the visionaries, because the visionaries were not maybe the most um, as we think of the children of Fatima being known for their great holiness, uh, they lived a rather ordinary life. They didn't, um, neither one, uh, I think Melanie tried to pursue a religious vocation but did not persevere in it. Seems that it was not her vocation to do so. But, um, and then of course, um, there was some controversy that Melanie started to doubt whether or not Our Lady did speak to her, but eventually she did um, become more uh, convinced of, of, of the apparition. And of course, it is approved by the church as a supernatural event and that took place. A more recent grace given at La Salette, of course, was the conversion of uh, Roy Schumann, who was a Jewish agnostic 
who was having to be vacationing in that part of Grenoble in France. And there's a ski lodge somewhere nearby because it's up in the mountains, La Salette. And it was out of curiosity he went to La Salette and he was struck, you might say. I think Our Lady even appeared to him and um, convinced him that he needed to become a Catholic. So Our Lady is working many graces. As the opening prayer talks about, she came at La Salette to reconcile sinners to God, as Our Lady always does. This is part of her, her role as co-redemptrix. She stood at the, faith, at the foot of the cross, suffering for and praying for the reconciliation of all of her other children that God has given to her with God. And that is first and foremost, the greatest love of Our Lady after her son is for her children to be reconciled, to be living in good relationship with God, like any mother would want their child to be in good terms with God. Let us today pray and ask Our Lady to intercede for our world today that does not respect the, whole, the, the Lord's day and seemingly takes our Lord's name in vain, you know, so, so frequently that more and more will be convicted of these sins and turn away from them. And that we pray especially that the grace that is being given all the time, as St. Maximine Colby says, Our Lady is the distributor and mediates all graces, but especially the graces of, of um, conversion and sanctification, that many souls will be converted uh, through our prayers and through the intercession of Our Lady. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit, Amen.